What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick guide, I'll be showing you how to fix a really annoying error, which is essentially sudo app update. This over here. Whenever you try to update your Ubuntu system that just happens to be a little bit older, you could see an error that goes along the lines of this release no longer has a release file. What is this and how do we fix it? Well, most of the time you're running an outdated operating system version and all you need to do is update. Though, first of all, let's make sure that that actually is the case and there's not something else wrong. To check your current OS version, type in cat space slash etsy slash os hyphen release. Once we do this, it'll tell us everything about our system. We're currently running Ubuntu version 23.10 Mantic Minisar. If we check out in a web browser, wiki.ubuntu.com slash releases, we'll see all of the current supported versions of Linux, as well as when their predicted end of life is. And scrolling down to him, end of life, as you can see, 23.10 was the latest to be phased out in July 2024, which means this system will no longer automatically update, nor will it get updates in the future. So how do we fix that? Well, there are two things that we can do. We can either download and do a fresh install of the latest OS, or we can update our current install, keeping all of our files, programs, etc., and take them across to the newest version. All that we need to do is edit one text file and tell it to update. This text file tells our system where to look for updates of different packages. Run the command sudo nano, which is a simple command line text editor, slash etsy, slash apt, slash sources dot list. Once you do this, you'll see where your system currently reaches out to to download package updates. All we need to do is use the arrow keys to navigate around, and when you currently see archive.ubuntu.com slash whatever your version is, change archive to be old hyphen releases as such .ubuntu.com slash etc. Don't change anything else other than the keyword archive. Yours may be slightly different, but for the most part, we just need to point everything as is to old hyphen releases .ubuntu.com. Once we've changed everything, hit Control S to save and Control X to close. Now we can run sudo apt install update hyphen manager hyphen core and update hyphen manager. Once we do this, we should now have our system prepared. Now the next recommended step is updating your desktop environment. For this, you can run dpkg space hyphen L to list all of your installed packages, space pipe, which is a straight line vertical character, usually found above enter, space grep space tu hyphen desktop. This will tell us what our system is currently using. You'll see that we're currently using Ubuntu desktop minimal. This is what we'll need to update. So I'll copy this and we'll type in sudo apt install space that name. Once we do this, it'll make sure our desktop environment is updated as well, just to fix any errors if there are any. Finally, we'll need to prepare to update our kernel as well. So sudo apt install followed by Linux hyphen image hyphen followed by either generic server or virtual, depending on what system you're running. For the most part, it'll just be generic. Then space Linux hyphen headers space generic server or virtual once more. Once we do this, and if you get an error like this, you've likely missed something, do sudo nano etsy apt sources list once more and make sure everything points to old hyphen releases. As you can see at the very bottom, I've forgotten these security ones here. Once we run the command to install our image generic and headers generic, I'll confirm these, and this should allow us to update our kernel if anything is necessary in the future. Now that we've run these three commands, we're now prepared to actually update our system. Now that we've run these three commands, we can actually now upgrade our system once this finishes. We'll run three commands now, sudo apt update, which is going to take some time. Then we'll run sudo apt dist hyphen upgrade, and we'll confirm anything if necessary here. This will take even longer. So now it's done downloading. It's actually installing most of our package updates. You may notice your screen goes black and it looks like it restarts, but keep in mind, it's not actually restarting. I just gave it about 30 seconds and it asked me to punch in my password, meaning the desktop environment just updated. So at this point, don't pull your plug, just be very patient. There we go. There's one final command we need to run, which is sudo do hyphen release hyphen upgrade. Running this is the final step to updating our system. If you get a pop-up like this saying you haven't rebooted off after updating a package which requires a reboot, all you need to do is type in sudo reboot now and wait for the thing to restart. There we go. Now that we've restarted, we can once again open up a terminal and we can run the final command, which is sudo do hyphen release hyphen upgrade once more. And this time, 
things should work properly. So all I need to do is confirm the update and now just sit back and wait. We'll need to confirm it one last time and now the install actually happens. If you see a pop-up like this, you may need to confirm it. Now updating Snap will confirm this as well. And with that, that pretty much should be it. One final confirm to restart and there we have it. We've now finally restarted and as you can see, the background is different. It should be updated now. If we open up the terminal one final time and this time checking again with cat etc OS release, you can now see that we're running 24.04 Noble Numbat. And with that, we've now successfully fully updated our system. If you wonder what the sources file looks like now, scrolling up through our still existing command history, it's been moved to a new location. So checking that one instead, you can now see we're back to running the latest version. This one's arguably a lot more simple to read. There's a lot less here. But anyways, that's really it for the super quick guide. You now know how to update your system if you're running an older unsupported version. Just keep in mind that down below, you'll find a link to the official article that I've been following throughout this video, which covers a bit of troubleshooting and things like that if I've skipped over anything. But anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.